Oh, let, let me go. <laughs> let me let me run this back. <laughs> let me run this back. Can I tell you why you're still single? <laughs> I'm about to do the Lord's work today. Sis, you're still single because you're not a prize. And before you get in your feelings, just, just hear me out. Here's what you got to realize about men. Because of their competitive nature, they're not going to invest emotional energy into things that don't allow them to win. This dude will pass over the girl that he knows he can get for the girl that is way out of his league because he has to win. You've convinced yourself that in order for you to get him, you're gonna have to make it as easy as possible on him. And the opposite is actually true. I remember when my husband first um, was checking for me and I wanted to be married so bad, but he didn't know that. And he didn't need to know that because when he called me, I was busy. I wasn't, he don't even realize he had me at hello. But what I knew about him was that if he did not make the emotional investment to get me, he would not make the emotional investment that it takes to keep me. So every time I see one of y'all um, talking about how ready you are to be married and writing love notes online to the husband in your head, I want to take your phone and throw it across the room. Because this man is not looking for a wife, he's looking for a prize. He gonna get a wife once he marries you. You have to have enough confidence in yourself to make this man work. You are the prize. Mm. <sighs> okay, okay. Topic for tonight. Topic for tonight. You are not. Hold on, let me get that down. My bad. Topic for tonight. You are not the prize. You are not the prize. Oh no. Oh no. So sis, <laughs> let's see if you get this comment and say she sound crazy. Uh. Well, oh. <laughs> here's the thing, right? Come on, here's ready. Let's thing. go. Here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I kind of agree with her up to a certain point. Um, so my first <laughs> Come on, Vince. Come, Come on, Vince. <laughs> so my first, the first thing is this, right? I do agree with the part about a man needing a little bit of a challenge when it comes to um, to to getting or finding the the woman that he's going to end up being with. I do. I don't think that a man who is really worth your time and your energy wants you to be easy for him. I, I don't think he will respect that. I think he'd rather respect him actually having to put in a little bit of work because he knows that if he has to put in a little bit of work, you're not easy in general. Um, or I should say there's a good chance you're not easy in general. So if he's putting in work, then the thought will be, well, perhaps the men who came before me or whoever they were also had to put in work. So that means th this woman must carry herself a certain way if she has certain requirements. And as a woman, you should have standards and you should have requirements. And as a man, you should also have standards and requirements. And if a woman is that easy. Go, go ahead, Vince. Go, go ahead. get it off your chest, man. Get off your chest. I wasn't going to comment on because it's my anniversary. But Remy seen it in my eyes and said, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> she reminds me of the lady that that will say, "I'm not gonna go on a first date for a coffee date if he can't take me to a restaurant. He's not putting in the effort and the time, and my time is more valuable than Starbucks coffee. And if he can't take me to a restaurant, then he don't want to put no effort in." The the problem that I have with that. And what most ladies is don't understand, men want sex, first of mm -hmm. all. So in the back of that man, in the back of that man's mind, he know it's some man that didn't have to do nothing to get it. For right. any woman. It's some man that could even bring you a chicken dinner. But you want me on a first date to to put all this effort forth. See, right. that's the problem. A lot of women don't understand. Yeah, 
he should put a little effort in. But when y'all talk about an extra amount of effort, he knows in the back of his mind, it's some dude that they have to do none of that. Right. So my thing with this whole prize catch thing, I said, my wife is the prize, I'm the catch. Okay, I feel that, I feel that. Yeah, I feel that, that, that works right there. That's another way to look at it. I think we lost Janice. She might pop back up. Um, but yeah, no, that's a, that's another way to look at it, man. But I just I'm always cautious when we when we use that, because like I said at the end of the day, it for a lot of people, it will set a expectation of not having to do anything. And like I said, young ladies do have preparations that they need to be making prior to marriage as well or, or preparations to present themselves as a wife. Um, and I think some of that is what we are not seeing today. Yeah, we're not talking about slapping on some lashes. We ain't talking about slapping on a, a wig. Like, we're not talking about that. Yeah, we're talking about actual preparations around your character, around your your, your specialties, your skill set, your nurturing. Like, so we, we're talking about actual preparation because at the end of the day, there's preparation that a man has to do. First off, he got to get his money up. Because he's got to be thinking about taking care of somebody. So he got to get his money up. Yeah, nine times out of ten, he got to figure out where y'all gonna stay, or either he got to get y'all ready to purchase somewhere to stay. Um, so like I said, there's preparations that men go through um, before even really asking for a, a lady's hand in marriage. I think yeah, Janice is kind of kind of backed. Okay, there she go. Um, so yeah, there's preparations that you should do. So I look at it this way: I feel like the union, the union, the actual union itself is the prize. Yeah, because that's where the two of y'all get the benefit. So she benefits from the union. You be, you benefit from the union. That's where the actual prize is. So yeah, I just I, I have some issues with with some of the things that the young lady said. Um, she also made a point about men not want to invest energy, um, or not want to invest emotional energy into to people. I don't know how accurate that is. Because, see, this is the thing about men. And like I said, Vince makes this point all the time. Men are more are definitely more willing to settle than women are. Yeah, so men will invest some energy in different women to see who may yield him the highest percentage of what he's looking for. Now, I know ladies get out here talking about they ain't going to settle and all that. Yeah. Yeah, men are a little more realistic around that. Yeah, because at the end of the day, men know that women are not not really gonna want to accept them the way they are. Yeah, they're gonna want you to have some, you know, we hear the stuff. They want you to be six, six, and six. You got to be six feet tall, making six figures and all of this, got to be well endowed, got to have property. There's all type of requirements for fellas. But at the end of the day, some fellas will definitely invest some energy into young ladies to see if they can get where they can get their highest percentage towards what they are looking for. Yeah. So I, I kind of disagree with her on that one as well. I said, I don't, I don't think she got that right up. Um, I do agree with the point though. She made another point about women making it too easy. So I do agree with that. Um, I do think a lot of, we see a lot of situations where women do make it too easy um, for men but I also feel like some of the ladies at the same time will get unrealistic for the right man. Yep. And what I mean is for the knuckleheads, y'all will make it easy. You let the knucklehead have your body. You'll have some kids with the knucklehead. But then when the right guy come along, who's serious, who's showing you he's intentional, who's showing you what he's bringing to the table and what he's ready to provide, then you want to run him through the ringer and get him the hassle. And that's that's not how that's supposed to go. So I said, I slightly agree with the young lady in the video, but I got to add that caveat because we see a lot of that. Yeah, the standards and the expectations are very low for the cats who, who don't or didn't do you right. 
But then when the good guy comes along, which typically you want him later in life, that's the other issue. You want the good guy later in life when he come along and then you want to run him through the ringer. Now he's the one who need to have all the money. He's the one who need to be on point. He's the one who need and see that's backwards. That that's not how that's supposed to go. So we we definitely got to correct that right there. We got to correct that. Um so yeah, I'm going to stop right there for a minute. I'm going to stop right there for a minute. Do you want to uh do you want to say something, Chloe? Well, I, so I have to ask a question because I feel like there is another side of that and I I would say like I'm going to play devil's advocate, but I don't play with the devil. So instead, I'm going to say that let's entertain a different perspective, right? Let's look at this from a female perspective. I hear what you're saying about um, how some women would allow the, the, the knucklehead dude to get away with things or she'll entertain the knucklehead dude in a way that she won't then the serious guy, the guy that she really likes. Um, and I know a lot of women will say, well, it's because I like him. Like I, I like him. I'm, I want us to, I want to actually see this go somewhere. So I'm going to be more guarded with him. I'm going to be more careful with him. Um, I don't want to see with him right away because I don't want to, to give off this vibe that I'm, that I'm easy. You know, like I want to make him work for it because I want him to value me. Right. Mm. Um, and women, this is this is the comment that I hear whenever we say, like what you just said, Quay, this right. is the response that we you, we typically get from women when you say that, right? So just going with that mindset for a moment, what would you suggest as a man? What would you suggest a woman should do? Because if she's been in relationships in the past where she has presented herself too easy or just allow herself to, you know, um, you know, get in too deep with a guy too soon, or she didn't vet as well, or whatever the case may be, she did all the wrong things. And now she's like, okay, with this guy, I really like this guy. He's a good guy. I don't want to do all of those things that I did in the past because they did not work for me. So now I'm going to try to do something different. I didn't make those other guys wait and you see what happened. So I want to make this guy wait because not to punish him, but because I didn't do that for those other guys and then it didn't work out. So I want to do it for this guy because I'm hoping that by doing it differently, it'll work out with this guy. Right. So what are you guys' take on that? Because that's realistically what a lot of women will think. Like if I did this and it didn't work, then I need to do something different. And this is their version of something different. So if you guys are now saying that that don't work, then y'all got to tell the ladies, okay, well, what from your perspective as men, do you want a woman to do if she's been in situations where she hasn't always been um, as buttoned up? She hasn't always been as um, careful. Like, what is your suggestion? What should she do when she meets a guy that she really likes? Okay, I saw that reaction. Go ahead, Vince. I'm, I'm, I'm holding. Go ahead, man. That's horrible thinking. Mm. First of all, what I would tell them that is be intentional from the beginning. And I'm gonna go from the book of Kevin Samuels because he said it best. The, the best I ever heard it. First of all, be intentional. Know exactly what you want from the beginning. If you want to get married, only date men who want to get married. If you don't want to get married, then date men who don't want to get married, first of all. Second of all, don't go out with a man you're not attracted to on the first date. Don't go out with a man that you don't want to sleep with on the second date. Because men don't think that way. Men will think, just like I told you, because sex, yes, it does change things. But at the end of the day, if you intentional and y'all both want the same things, let's go and get it cracking. The problem was he wasn't the right person in the first place. So it ain't hey, really that doesn't make sense. He wasn't right in the first place. But you decided because that's who you was attracted. That's what it is. That's who you was attracted to. So you gonna make a man wait that you attracted to, and he got all these things, but I don't I don't want to do it fast with you. Because I like you. But the guy I didn't like and who was a fool, 
I gave him everything. How you think a man gonna think about that? He, that's not fair. Okay, hold that's on. How men, that, that's how men think. Men okay. think how men. That's okay. not fair. You, if you gave it up to him on the first night, you give it up to me on the first night. Okay, all right. And I asked you for your I asked night, you, third night, whatever. I asked you for the male perspective and you gave it to me, so I ain't even mad. But I gotta ask an additional Oh my god. I gotta follow up with additional questions. Okay, so I I hear what you're saying, and I can I can see from a male perspective how you feel that way, but at the same time, you guys have to also understand this too. Like there are men going around now, and I'm not saying this is the two of you men here or the men on the panel represent this, but there are men going around now saying that they care about where a woman's been, they care about if she's been loose. They care about if she's been around. Like, I'm not saying this is all men. I'm simply saying this is something that we hear from guys these days. So if that's the case, then if <laughs> then it might make a woman feel like if I like you as a guy and I give it up to you too soon, are you then going to become another one of those guys who I didn't wait, I didn't vet because I hear what you're saying about being intentional, but let's be honest. Not all of us were intentional from the very jump. So now we have these past relationships where we weren't intentional. Some of them gave us kids. And now we're moving forward and we want to be more intentional. So what do you say to the woman who wants to be more intentional now, but she wasn't before? Because this means now that she needs to move differently. And I hear your male perspective, but from a female perspective, that might mean I need to wait now. I didn't used to wait before. That might mean I need to, you know, pick dudes that not the hot boy. I need to pick the calm dude now. Right. That might mean that she might dress a little different or sound a little different because before it was hot girl summer 365. So now she is looking at it like, I, you know, that didn't work for me. That, that, you know, I wasn't intentional. I was having fun. Ooh, ooh. But now I'm serious. I'm trying to find somebody. I want to be in a relationship. So we well, get into messages. Uh, I we will get into say messages this. Because if she's jumping to bed too quick, then are we not concerned about Wait, that, don't that don't matter. That don't matter. I mean, in 2023, that don't we matter. Don't. It really don't. I've had some of the best relationships <laughs> on the one night, on the first night, second night, third night, third day, fourth. I mean, let's get this on out the way. I mean, we grown. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I know it's a different. Yeah, diff but but you can't get to know the person that fast, Vince. Let me get some. Let me get some. <laughs> let, me, let me say this. Let me, let me say this, Chloe, too. I will say that just be honest. Be up front. Be like, hey, I really like you. You know what? I'm not saying that I don't want to sleep with you. I'm just trying to slow it down a little bit. But then give him non-sexual. Kiss him on the cheek. You know, still be not sexual, but let you know make him feel like 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 you're attracted to him like you really like him that you really see something don't be playing no games that's I what it is me and sometimes we feel like y'all playing games and okay. once you feel like you're playing games then it's a whole nother thing but my thing is intentional you can say you know what i like you but i want to do it different with you because i really stroke his ego a little bit you know i see that you might be the man of my dreams and i just want to do something different with you and and I just want to treat you like you ain't never been been treated before. And I and I you know I want I want to get ready for you. I want to. Ooh, she, see, see, see how that sound? Ooh, I, ooh, she want to get ready for me. Oh my God! But don't be like, oh no, we can't do it. But you see, but yeah, I want I want to go to Roos Chris tomorrow. You got to take me because I feel what like I value you now. Know. Now I I gotta have a man that's gonna do this and do that. See, that's that's the problem, is these games. Mm. If you're honest with somebody up front, then that's a little bit different. Okay, that's real right there. That's real. Let me get some of these comments real quick. Let's see. Donovan, he dropped this a little earlier. Donovan said, let's see, if she's easy, anybody can have a turn. If she puts barriers, it takes a special kind to penetrate the walls. Okay, no, that's facts right there. I agree with that. I agree with that. Like I said, she definitely shouldn't be easy. She should not just make it easy. So let's let's definitely let me clarify that. 
Yeah, listen, most fellas who want some serious stuff, they don't want no easy girl. So let, let me just go ahead and speak for the fellas on that one. Let's see, Donovan also said the woman is the prize if she's the man's help meet. Okay. That's a, you put that big if on there, Donovan. You put that big if on there, man. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. Shantae in the building. She said iron shoppers iron. Let's see. If not, you a liability. Mm. Okay, okay. Let's see, Donovan said women adjust the bar. They lower it for the underachiever, but raise it way too high for the one that they will flourish with. That was my point. That was my point. That was my point. And listen, I think in certain situations, it goes a little unrealistic.